Beams, coils, plates, slabs, pipe, rebar, and angle iron. You work with many types of steel cargo that pose various hazards. Your job demands tremendous skill, practice, and attention. Attention to detail, and especially attention to safety. If you want to go home in one piece, you can't afford to turn your back on the load, and you must embrace safety. In this program, we'll teach you how to work safely while loading, unloading, and sorting steel cargo. We'll explain the hazards of working with steel and what PPE to use. We'll explain how to work safely in the hold and in the yard. You face many different hazards when handling steel cargo. You are at risk of injury from impacts. You don't want to be caught in the bite between two pieces of steel or between a suspended load and the wall of the hold. That's why it is vital that you be alert to your surroundings at all times. Always know what is going on and how to protect yourself. The hazard of pinch points exists with certain cargo and equipment, which can crush your fingers and hands. Obstructions such as loose dunnage, debris, lashing cables, and uneven surfaces can cause you to trip and fall. Every day, know the hazards you face and know how to protect yourself and others. PPE is crucial to keeping you safe on the job. You must wear a high visibility vest, hard hat, and steel-toed safety shoes. You may need additional PPE depending on the specific working conditions you face. For example, you may need fall protection where a fall hazard exists. You may need hearing protection for excessive noise levels. Durable gloves are important if you work with abrasive or sharp material. Always use the appropriate PPE for the job you do. Take care of your PPE and properly store it when not in use. Talk to supervision if your PPE is damaged or worn out, or if you are unsure what you should use. Using the right PPE for the hazards you face gets you one step closer to embracing your safety. When entering the hold, make sure the securing pin of the hatch cover is in position and handrails are installed. Always maintain three points of contact when descending or climbing the ladder. And don't carry items while climbing down or up the ladder. Once you are in the hold, always be alert to what is going on around you. Be careful where you step and stand, as there can be dunnage, banding, oil, standing water, lashing cables, and many uneven work surfaces. Overhead hazards, such as dunnage, can fall from suspended loads, so stay alert and make sure you wear your hard hat at all times. Don't position yourself near or against a load being hoisted, and stay clear of suspended loads at all times. Remember this rule of thumb. If you can't see the crane operator, the crane operator can't see you. Communication is critical when loading and discharging steel cargo. Make eye contact with others and speak clearly. Know the crane signals and what to expect of the load when the signals are given. Working with steel cargo requires a team effort. You must work with each other to understand the hazards and protect yourself. The crane operator will not hoist or lower loads or gear until the signal is given that workers are clear of the area. Once the signal is given to hoist the load, make sure you move out of the bite, away from the load. Never turn your back on the load. Know the location of the boom, since it will determine which way the load will swing when lifted. Never try to stop a swinging load with your arms or body. The combined force of the load and its swing will knock you over, causing severe injury or worse. Stay away from unguarded edges. Never climb on the hatch combing or lean over the hatch. Know the equipment you'll need to do your job and how to work with it safely. 
Inspect equipment before you use it. Look for wear and tear on slings or broken strands on wire rope. Make sure shackle pins are properly secured. Report any issues you find to supervision. Lifting equipment and cranes have safe load capacities. Never exceed these capacities or hook up more cargo than is authorized. When using slings and lifting hooks, make sure they are at an equal distance from the center of the load. This will help maintain the load's center of gravity and keep it from shifting. Always use a canary or long arm to pull straps, slings, or chains from under a load. Doing so will keep your arms and hands out of the bite and free of injury. Check with supervision before cutting any steel wire or banding. It may be under tension and can snap back on you. Steel pipe will roll easily, which can crush or cause injury to body parts. It may be necessary to chalk them with dunnage. Be extra careful if you must walk on steel coils, as they can roll and shift. Always keep an eye out for gaps and voids in the stow, which can cause you to fall. To help prevent rolling or shifting loads that create crushing hazards, it is best to maintain a level stow and work cargo tier by tier whenever possible. Position plate shoes, plate dogs, or chimes properly to avoid hand injuries. Maintain good housekeeping and always keep your work area clean and orderly. If you remove dunnage, be alert to the potential for injury when setting the blocks. Be careful not to get your fingers and hands caught between loads. Hazards of working with steel cargo are not limited to the hold of a ship. You must work safely in the yard as steel cargo is handled. The same hazards of steel cargo, such as rolling or tipping cargo, continue to exist once it is off the vessel. Never attempt to stop rolling or shifting cargo with your feet or any other body part. Be alert to slip and trip hazards and be careful when walking around large equipment that is operating. Keep a safe distance from operating equipment and make eye contact with operators. In this program, we explain the hazards of loading, unloading, and sorting steel cargo and the appropriate PPE to wear. We covered how to work safely in the hold and in the yard. Always stay alert to what is going on around you. Wear your PPE and watch out for others. Remember, when it comes to steel cargo, safety doesn't just happen, you have to make it happen.